Welcome to the ninth instalment of the A to Z Master Questscape Guide. I'm Hunter S, called the RuneScape Lawhound, and today we'll be covering the first two B requirements, which are Bandos's Memories and Bane Tuna. I would recommend that you watch my MQC Lengthiest and Hardest Requirements videos first when they pop up via suggestion cards. This is because it is important to start some requirements early. Also, if you missed the previous A to Z guide where we covered As a Korax's Rewards and As Duran Birthright, then please click the suggestion card that will appear now. For these videos, I'm going to assume you have the quest point cape, but I will attempt to include the quests, skills, and any other requirement you need for each achievement. In addition, these video guides are Iron Man friendly. With that, let's get started with Bandos's Memories. The first requirement we are going to look at today is the Bandos's Memories achievement, and this is worth 15 rune score. You must recover all 14 of Bandos's Memories on Ubiusk. To do this, you need to have completed the quest The Mighty Fall to be able to access the required section of Ubiusk. You will need the book called Bandos's Memories, which was a reward from the Mighty Fall quest, to be able to complete this achievement. So check your bank. If it is not in your bank, you may have destroyed the item. But don't worry about this, because it can be claimed back from your bookcase in your player-owned home. Once you've got the book in your inventory, teleport to the Falador Lodestone and run north towards the Goblin Village. Just before the entrance of the village, veer off to the right and you will see a green portal which will take you to Ubiusk. Enter the portal. When you enter the portal, you will appear in Bandos's arena on Ubiusk. To complete this achievement, you need to collect 13 additional chronicles which are scattered throughout this area. The achievement states 14, but the first one is automatically given to you. Chronicles do move from their spawn location and will only appear as you get closer to them, so ensure that you look around thoroughly. Here is a list and the location of every chronicle you need. The first chronicle is located in the Troll Tower, which is east of the portal entrance. Return to the portal and then follow the path down to the south. The chronicle will appear southwest of the Troll Tower. Continue following the path to the west and climb up the ladder. Then run south. In the corner of the path, southwest of the throne overlooking the arena, you will find the third chronicle. Climb the ladder to the south. The fourth chronicle will appear as you get to the top. Run south again. You will see some trolls and goblins to the east. Run over to them as they are amongst the fifth chronicle. Run west towards the bank camp and then over the bridge to the south. The sixth chronicle is alone on the island. Run back over the bridge and then east past the bank camp. This time, run slightly north and then west towards the small camp with the lonesome goblin for the next chronicle. Run east and climb back down the ladder to the north. Run east past Zarador and over the bridge. The 8th Chronicle is in the Ogre Tower. Run back across the bridge and west around the throne.
continue on the small path to the west. Run south and across the bridge to Bork's camp. The 9th Chronicle is in there. Make sure to run around a bit as it is easy to miss. In the footage here, Dragon D94 actually misses the Chronicle and has to come back later. Run back across the bridge and down the ladder. To the west is another ladder which leads down into the player's camp during the mighty fall. The Chronicle is in your camp. The 11th Chronicle is back up the ladder and directly west at the south end of the Goblin Camp. The 12th Chronicle is at the north end of the Goblin Camp. Finally, run east and you will find the final chronicle by a goblin and a troll. This will complete the achievement, Bandos's Memories. You will see in the recording that Dragon D94 now returns to Bork's camp to grab the final chronicle that she missed earlier and the achievement pops up. Congratulations, you have completed the Bandos's Memories achievement, your first step out into the world of the B Master Quest Cape requirements. So now, let's move on to the final achievement in this video, Bane Tuna. The final achievement that we are covering today is the Bane Tuna achievement, and this is worth 25 rune score. You must unlock the spell Tune Bane I Or. To do this, you need two have completed the quest Ritual of the Marjorah. You probably have already completed this achievement during the Ritual of the Marjorah quest. If not, however, you need to make your way to Kethsi, a barren wasteland of a planet that was destroyed by the Dragonkin. Be sure to take any agility outfit like the Nimble outfit or a potion as you will have to traverse an agility course. To get to Kethsi, you need to use the Fairy Ring system by inputting code D. I R Delta India Romeo immediately followed by code A K S Alpha Kilo Sierra. You will arrive on the Isle of San in Kethsi. You now need to traverse the Kethsi agility course to get to the underground area to find the Tune Bainai Or scroll. I found the agility course quite confusing. Um, Best thing for me to say is if you just follow where I'm going on screen, it will make things uh, easier for you. Um, I found it quite difficult to work out where I had to go. So as you've already seen, you had to climb up the ramp, jump from the ledge. Now you need to cross the fallen spire. Climb down the ladder. Do not make the mistake of thinking you can swing across the river using the rope swing. That is actually the way back. Instead, you need to run up the wall jump. Climb up the wall and then swing to the pole. Click the walk across beam option followed by the jump over gap option. Despite having 97 agility, he still failed this. Hence why I recommended the nimble outfit or an agility potion to boost your stats. Jump from floor and climb down the ladder. Climb down another ladder. Squeeze through the pipe. Right click on the rock slide and click the mine option. Climb up the wall. Run across the next two walls.
Do not make the mistake of jumping down the floor or you will get lost. I have spent a long time in this area trying to figure out where to go next and I realised I didn't need to jump down the floor in the first place. You should climb across the handholds instead. Climb up the ladder and jump from the floor. Don't climb down the ladder, instead slide down the roof. You have now arrived at the underground library area. This is unlocked with the Kethsian key. This key is found by digging up a casket that has been located with the strange device which was used during the ritual of the Marjorat. To get a replacement strange device, try searching the rubble on the north side of the largest Kethsian island and hopefully you'll be able to locate the key with that strange device. I had trouble finding where this piece of rubble was. I've suggested a location in this video that could be right or maybe wrong. Once unlocked, enter the underground area and search the bookcase. You should find the Tune Bay Night Ore scroll, unless you've already got it in your bank or you've already read it. Reading this scroll will unlock the spell Tune Bay Night Ore on the Lunar Spellbook. When the Dragonkin attacked Kethsi, the Kethsians made a last ditch attempt to stop them by tuning a Bay Knight weapon, but unfortunately the supplies that were needed were not available on Kethsi, resulting in the demise of the planet and its inhabitants at the hands of the Dragonkin. If you're still having trouble with this, according to the RuneScape wiki, they say, if you forgot to grab the scroll before you finished the quest, go around the Kethsian agility course. When you get to the end, slide down the platform, down the stairs and through the door, which then allows you to search the bookcase in the southeast corner giving you the scroll. I hope that helped. If you're still struggling, please leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Well done for completing the Bane Tuna achievement. I do wonder what Kethsey looked like before it was destroyed. I guess it is unlikely that we will ever find out though, sadly. Like always, if you have a question, please leave me a comment and I will try and help you with whatever you're stuck with. Um, last thing I wanted to say was if videos uh, slow down uh, in the next few months, that is unfortunately due to university commitments. I've been very busy uh, recently. Uh, universities picked back up along with a number of commitments that were postponed because of COVID. So uh, if the next A to Z guide does take uh, a long time to come out, uh, do apologise. I'm not stopping the series, but you it may be a, a while before you hear from me again. Best to warn you guys rather than just uh, leave. So I will see you in the next A to Z guide or a Lawhound Reviews video if I have the time to do one of those. But if I don't, I will see you as soon as I get some time to make the next one. Uh, just please appreciate that this could be quite a while. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.